sketch a graph of the circle whose equation is x squared plus y squared plus 6x minus 4y minus 3 equals 0. This is the polynomial form of the circle equation. We can also write it as x minus h quantity squared plus y minus k quantity squared equals r squared, where the point hk is the center of the circle, and then defining that circle by its radius, r equals the radius. So we're going to take this polynomial form and write it, transform it into, into this standard form x minus h quantity squared plus y minus k quantity squared equals r squared. We're going to be uh, completing the square ultimately. So let's put the x's together and the y's together and let's add 3 to each side so that we get our constant term over on the right hand side like we have here. The square root of 3 is not the radius. We're going to be doing some stuff and um, we're not going to end up with 3 ultimately at the end. But for now, we'll say x squared plus 6x plus something to complete that square plus y squared minus 4y plus something to complete that square equals 3. Okay, what are we going to add on these blanks here to complete the square so that we can literally uh, write something as a perfect square we want to add the square of half of this middle coefficient so for example if this is uh, this middle coefficient is 6 so we say 6 divided by 2 quantity squared is 3 squared is 9 so we'll be adding 9 same thing here, we've got negative 4 over 2, quantity squared, so negative 2 times negative 2 is 4, so we're adding 4. Whatever you add to the left side, you've got to add to the right, so I'm going to say plus 9 and plus 4 to the right-hand side. And now let's write this as the perfect square that it is. This is x plus 3 quantity squared. So I'll write that out plus y minus 2 quantity squared. So you can either do that by memorizing these special forms of a perfect square trinomial or just factoring this as y minus 2 times y minus 2. The right-hand side is easy. 3 plus 9 plus 4 is 16. So we get, aha, x minus h, but this is x plus 3. Well, we can fix that. x minus negative 3. That's the same thing. x minus negative 3 is the same as x plus 3. And certainly, when you're doing this work at home, you don't have to write that extra step, but I'm doing that for teaching purposes. So we can see that that h value is negative 3. And I'm going to write this as 4 squared. So we've got our r there. So now picking these off, we've got a center at the point negative 3, 2. We're just pulling out these, these values of negative 3 and 2, just like h and k. And the radius is 4. It's 4 squared. So I'm going to put this in green since I've been doing most of this in green. And I've got the center at negative 3, 2. And again, that point, that's not part of the graph. It's just a, a visual aid. Um, just the circle is the graph. But we've, we've got the center at negative 3, 2. And then in every direction from that center, we're going to go four units. I like to go up and down and left and right. Four units because the radius is 4 and then try to draw this as rounded as we can in between or connecting these points
points. And there's a graph of a circle. We've taken this polynomial form, transformed it into the standard form where we can pull out the H and the K and the R, and then sketch the graph.